Alright, you gotta sprinkle it on? Yeah, go for it. Like, to be a fish and how different their lives are, you know? Their feeling of pain is very different to our feeling of pain. I imagine. What do you think their feeling of pain would be like? I, I want to say it's almost like a simplified version. <laughs> Oh, that one ate it! Yay! Oh, you didn't get that one, little buddy. Maybe it's like they feel pain, but they wouldn't like anticipate pain. So then that's and that's part of what like feeling pain is. I think the pain receptors are in our skin, whereas they don't have skin, so it's mm. not, well their skin is very different to our skin, so I feel like they're, you know there are fish you can actually see like right inside of them, mm. skeleton fish are something they're called, I just think that's amazing, like you can just see exactly why it's functioning inside that fish. Yeah, like when we have um, animals, like they need to be halal because they have to be killed in a certain way. But with fish, we don't need to do that. So then that makes me think that you know the the purpose of having them halal is to make them to kill them in the least painful way. This pain is just like, like it's kind of there to keep us alive. Like it's it's a signal, like that we are alive. Yeah, I think that's the primary function of pain to say like you need to stop doing that. If it was just a voice in your head that said like, Don't this is that. bad. <laughs> but instead, like, because that you know, because we need something stronger than that, so then we feel it as unpleasant. But it's not like you have to force yourself to keep like that if you really want it. Mm, yeah, some people can like mind above matter kind of thing so maybe fish are just better at listening well, it flies. <laughs> like they react like their reactions is just amazing isn't it like you would just think how can you possibly it's almost like they know you're gonna whack with before you even do it like they just they just react and they move mm -hmm. away imagine if we could like process that, that fast day like we'd be like the flash <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we could do it with like not just physical things as well, like like emotional things or political things. Like if you could act before it happens instead of reacting, like so either act when you can or act when you have to. I'd rather act when I can. Mm. But it's like, what do fish do all day? You know what I mean? Like they eat. But what are they doing? They're not eating. They're just swimming around. They're just, they're just passive like that, isn't it? Do you think they get bored? This is the thing. I don't feel like they have heightened. Like I think we have heightened emotion, heightened mm. feelings. And so fish, they're very, they're a bit more simplified in that way. Where they just don't. Like they, don't they don't feel boredom because that's not a, a thing that exists to feel. <laughs> God, it's mad just like thinking about because it's it's not just like do they get bored or don't they? It's like does that question even make sense? Like, <laughs> not really. Like, because it's just such a different way of of living and of life. To them, it's either I'm hungry or I'm not hungry, and that's their life, isn't it? Like, mm. but they maybe even experience hunger differently as well like yes perhaps they're just thinking oh i see like how we see a level bar and it indicates that something needs to be done mm. when it's low or maybe they're like that and they're thinking oh this bar is low let me pick it up whereas if we feel hunger that can be quite painful or that can mm. affect in our tiredness or how we our mood and how we think and affects us in lots of different ways but it's also like if we feel hungry we have to feel hungry, understand that we're hungry, 
and then like do act on, act, act on it and like plan and make decisions whereas I feel like fish probably there's not the same gap between thinking and doing like they probably just like um like the feeling of hunger and the act of eating and not separate things like they're probably just moving and doing their own like doing their little fish thing <laughs> <laughs> like it's our natural state to like plan care so like animals might have like a system of care within like this pond or whatever it is but like that like we actually kind of plan on things and then do it i feel like there's an optimum to everything we're always just trying to get there with whatever it is that we do. Do you think we ever get there? No, no, it's just constant. Like, it's constant. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop until you literally die. It's like, it's like you know, who walk, when you walk too much, something happens. Or when you walk too little, something happens. Like, that has an effect on you. Mm. And when you live in a very lavish world, like, royalty, you may be in a certain way, and if you live like where you have nothing and you're fighting to survive, you're gonna live in a certain way where you know it's not the best for you. And again, like opposite, it's not the best for you. It's always what's best for you is always near the middle. So there's always a case of too much or too little, and you're always just trying to find that balance. So obviously, you've got to look at the purpose what is the purpose that we are here for? And you've got to make that your aim rather mm. than looking at what you've found and making an aim for yourself. Because whatever other thing that you make as an aim for yourself, that's not going to stay. It's not guaranteed. Everything will... Like, you can have money, you can have wealth, you can have family, but when you die, all that disappears. Like, it all goes away. So you've got to look at what stays. Like, the things that you did and the things that you didn't do. The, your, your soul, that's what stays. So anything that you did beneficial to the soul is what you've got to focus on. Rich people, like maybe they have been given wealth, but you are being tested with that wealth. Like, what are you doing with it? Are you gambling with it? Are you creating mafias with it? Are you donating to charities with it? And likewise, if you're poor, your test would then be like, can you still be thankful? Can you still understand that? No, that this is not why you're here. You're, the reason you are here like, there is a purpose to you being here, but if you're just going to be miserable and feel like, oh, I'm not in this here for no reason just to suffer, that's not it. Mm. You've got to understand that that's not why you're here. But at the same time, it's easier for people with nothing to believe because they think, well, I've got nothing else. And once you get that in place, everything else becomes easy. Like, everything else, not easy, but understandable. Mm. Like, you know, all the things that we were talking about in this retreat, for example, the care workers, the associations, all that. Like, I can understand all of it. Why it is that people do what they do? Why it is that the system's messed up? And why it is that things don't work? And at the end of the day, it's because we're human. Like, we're not perfect. Like, we make mistakes and we need to support one another. You know, none, none of us can do anything by ourselves. At the end of the day, we need people. So, like, you know, to make a big change, it, it can start from something small. But to maintain it what do you do when you know you've lost everything in the way what do you do when you know you feel like like you or maybe you've had an accident and you can't do anything with yourself physically what do you do then what is it that keeps you going and I think that's why it's harder for men because they don't talk about their emotions but I think that's essentially what it is how you're feeling about something like what makes you angry what makes you feel resentment what makes you feel such and such and that's at the end of the day what makes us different from animals the fact that we have this heightened sense of emotion and and this ability to balance everything like we can't do too much of something and we can't do too little of something because that will affect us whereas fish as long as they have their primary needs that's them like if they're safe and if they're not too hot not too cold and if they have their food and some animals are a little bit more sociable, so maybe they'll need like a couple or, or a family or whatever. But apart from that, that's essentially more or less what they need, isn't it? Whereas with us, we can't have the same food every day. We can't be doing the same thing every day. That's why care homes don't work, because 
you're doing the same thing to a person like you would an animal and we are more than animals like we have desires we have things we want to do we have we want to do it in a certain way and we want to do it different to our neighbor we want to do it differently whereas animals you can treat that fish almost exactly the same as the way you treat that fish mm. the way you are as a person nobody else is like that you are unique and you are you and nobody can be like you so mm. you shouldn't feel like you're nothing you know you're, you're like you're here for a reason and once you figure that out everything else becomes you can get through it you can get through it